All right, so question number five in your booklets. Did we find that one? Does it look right? Okay, so we all know that we're going to need our common adder. Can you just see it when you look at fractions? Probably not. Okay, so how do we find an adder? We take a term and we subtract a previous term. Okay, what do you want to do? We could go the third, subtract the second, or the second, subtract the first. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go one third, subtract one quarter then. How do we subtract fractions? We need the bottoms to be the same, common denominator. So a 3 and a 4, I'm going to turn them both into 12. Okay, but if I turn the 3 into a 12, that's a times by 4. So I'm going to turn the top into a 4. On this one, I would have to times by 3. So now I can subtract them. So 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths makes 1 twelfth. Okay, so that's my, what we're calling the difference. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. Here's my formula. Okay, so I was asked to find the what term? The term 8. So term 8 equals <clears throat> term 1. So the first term is a quarter plus n, which is the number of terms, so 8 terms. And the difference is 1 twelfth. So I'm going to do brackets, so 8 subtract 1, then I'm going to do the multiply, and then I have to add, and again, I need a common denominator. So. Remember, we turned this into 3 twelfths up there. We times everything by 3. So my final answer is 3 over 12 plus 7 over 12, 10 over 12. Okay? And I'm perfectly fine if you just leave it. If you were a person who really wanted to reduce it, that's also fine, but I'm happy with that answer. Okay, so let's do a geometric that's involving a fraction. So flipping to page five, question seven. Two ninths. That one. So this is in the geometric. Did you find it? Two ninths. Maybe you flip the page. Flip another page. Two ninths. Question seven. Okay. So, can you tell what I'm multiplying by? Probably not, right? You probably can't see it. So we take a term and we divide by a previous. If we can't see the multiplier, we divide previous. Okay, so I'm going to go one half divided by one third. I took any term dividing by its previous. Then what do I do with dividing fractions? I 
I flip and multiply when I divide. So now I have that R value. What's the common multiplier? That's the common multiplier. Okay, so now you take your formula. Okay, you all have a formula sheet, you find it. So term five equals the first term, which is two ninths times the ratio to the five minus one. Okay, you're probably going to type this in your calculator. <clears throat> so that's what the type would look like. Okay, and remember to make sure you just simplify that before you're typing it in. Okay. And it will do the order of operations for you. Thank you. 